Boys, ladies and gentlemen, girls and guys, welcome back to a new video. I hope you're doing fantastic as usual. I hope you've been taking care of yourself, my guy and my baby. And I hope you've been loving yourself, man. It's the time right now to be loving yourself. But without further ado, today we're watching If Ice Ice Cream You Win. So this video is by Eric, man. And if you don't know who he is, man, he's lit. So let's get into it. Over the past few years, I've helped my friends face some of their biggest fears. But they didn't see it as help. <gasps> Bro, that was a spider, my guy. Two weeks in an act of revenge. My friends have been working in secret on a plan forcing me to face my biggest fears. Oh, that's a bad my guy. So for the first time ever, I will have absolutely no control over this video, during which we'll be using the score counter to keep track of whether I get scared or not by these various challenges. Uh-oh. That's a ghost, my guy. Was that supposed to be the first part of the video? I'm not scared. That was horrible. So now the only question left is, how hard is it to scare the guy responsible for scaring everybody else? I guess it's time to find out. Right now. The tables are switched right here, bro. Usually we don't know what's going on, and you do. What is the game plan right now? So you just keep that beautiful little bandana on. And it's very important that you remain calm at all times. Oh, yeah. Yeah, don't... Wait, you said I'm trying to scare the guy that scares everyone. Damn. That's the biggest thing. I might scream. Hey, Eric, if you scream, you will die. If I scream and die, I probably shouldn't be in this situation. Are you stressed out right now? Of right. course I'm stressed out. Eric, you stay in the car. Alright, we're, we're about to show you. That's what Eric's about to be facing. Oh, oh no. no. Bro, that's a bear, man. That's found in Russia. Or in Big Bear in America. God, God damn, bro. Did you see the size of that thing? Nah, bro. I would like literally like... I would fire everyone if they put me in a situation like that. I'll fire, I'll fire everybody in the team, my guy, because I'm not playing with bats, man. That thing is super aggressive. Of course, I'm stressed out. Eric, you stay in the car. Alright, we're, we're about to show you. That's what Eric's about to be facing. Nah, bro. Why is he roaring like that? And why is he not in a cage, bro? Just look at his mouth, bro. What? Is it a real one? Boys, that is a over 1,000 pound Kodiak. Dude, that's like 500 kilograms, my guy. So if you're wondering why we told Eric not to scream, this is why. You don't want to scream in front of that guy. Oh my gosh. We love you, Eric. Wait, is he actually out of the cage? Nah, bro. Whoa, 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 whoa. What is that? Oh my, what is that? Take your blindfold off. <laughs> that would be me, bro. That nigga standing up, bro. <laughs> Don't scream. Mr. Rack, are you comfortable feeding the bear? <laughs> what do you mean I comfortable feeding the bear? You don't bite your arm, you don't eat you as a feed. Huh? If you feed the bear, you conquer the fear. I'm not feeding you with bro. Are you serious? <laughs> What is it doing, bro? Nah, the bear will just bite your face off. What the heck? Dude, what kind of a bear is that, man? They've made it, like, domesticated. How is that even possible? Is it even possible to make a bear domesticated, bro? I don't know, man. I think you got it. I think you did it. I am the king of concrete fears. You're going to have to go way harder than that. So, yes, this is the first bit, but this is also the only bit that Eric is actually going to be aware of that he is on camera. For the rest of the scares and situations we have planned in this video, Eric is not even going to know he's being filmed. Bro, this is so nice that this is flipped, bro. Finally, right? That's right. The boys and I made an agreement that for the next two weeks, there are no rules and no limits to what they can do to try to scare me. And at first, they tried to scare me inside my own relationship. What if we hired some hunk off the internet go flirt with Eric's girlfriend while they're on a date? So there's this guy, Harry Jowsey. He's like well known for just being oddly attractive. So I'm going to hit up Harry Jowsey, get him to help us out. Then we'll have Hope, Eric's girlfriend, in on this, of course, and she'll bring up Harry Jowsey's name at like a dinner date or something. You remember I kind of connected you with Harry Jowsey's stylist. Yeah. And a few days later, we convinced Hope to take Eric on another date, but this time we have an entire restaurant rented out. We'll bug the entire place with cameras and a very hot Harry. And what we'll do is in the middle of the date, we'll have a Harry... 
Hot Harry. What? Harry come in, up to the table, and just start flirting with Hope. And we'll see what Eric does. <laughs> but on top of that, let's hit two birds with one stone. Eric hates stalkers. So in the corner of the restaurant, we're going to place a really weird guy that just keeps looking at him throughout the dinner. Both of these nah, bro, I was standing up and I'll go and face the guy, man. I'll be like, hey, you have a problem with me, man? And then I'll be like, if he does, man, you know what's going down. Come by. And two weeks later, here we are. So here's the plan, boys. This right here is our TV monitor. We have a cameraman right there hidden in the dark. We have Eric's location right here. Oh, boy, he is close. God damn, they're doing so much extra shit, bro. They're putting the spying device on the phone, the cameras, everything. God damn, man. I gotta get him right here. Right? Oh, man. <gasps> oh, dude, this is crazy. We'll do the regular pancakes. No, I'm gonna do the steak and eggs. What the hell goes to a fancy restaurant and buys pancakes? Like, what the actual fuck? Yeah, thank you very much. Harry Dawson's about to come in and start flirting with Hope. Dude, I would only like, I wouldn't even buy a pancake. I'll just make it myself, bro. I think it's a waste of time and money. I'm very watch. Oh, whatever. What is this big water jug? How you doing? I shredded out of my mind. I'm inspired by you. How was it? Oh, nice to meet you. Are you guys the same eyes? Are you related? <laughs> We're dating. We're dating yeah, yeah. three years. Yeah, yeah. She's gorgeous. <laughs> He's nah, bro. I wouldn't be laughing, man. I'm like, get the fuck out of here, dude. Nervously. Where are you from? Florida. And when did you move here? Two years ago. Hope, are you like, are you doing anything after this? We're just saying no. Just a little oh. date night. Yeah. Oh, it's a date night? Yeah. Dude, Eric is not happy. What do you do with yourself? So I do. Wait, who invited him? <laughs> <laughs> the guy's like, uh, can you scroll out his... Why didn't he sit around the girl, bro? Bridal fashion content. Like, <laughs> wow. He's just, like, ignoring Eric and only talking to Hope. It's pretty fun. Wow, that's epic. That's so cool. Bro. Do you model yeah, at all? No, not really. Like, I... You don't want to get her into modeling? You don't think she's attractive enough? <laughs> uh, she could do whatever she wants, bro. Jesus, guy. I think she can do whatever she wants, man. I'm going to go back that way. Right? <laughs> I think she can do whatever she wants, man. Get the fuck out of here with that bullshit, man. Why haven't you slapped that nigga in the face? No, you guys, but, like, do you got Instagram? Yeah, he's pissed. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, what is it? No! <laughs> yeah. Bro! Look at that! Nah, bro, look at his face, bro. Fuck that. Nah, look at that. <laughs> Do your girl like that face you fear? Are you trying to steal my girlfriend? No! Here's how I look at it. If I take her on a date and we hook up, uh -huh. then you shouldn't be with her. Uh -huh. Yeah? What do you mean? Well, I'm doing you a favor. No? No. <laughs> that would happen. I followed you, I DM'd you. I'm going to leave you guys. That's that was you. nice, buddy. I'll see you next time, right? Yeah, yeah. Nah, bro. He's not smart. Oh, I feel terrible. <laughs> look at that mustache, dude. Nah. <laughs> Before? Yeah, he was super cool to me the first time I talked to him. The, I've never, the, the, ever, ever the, the, seen a human being act like that. What have we done? All right, now we're sending the crazy stalker, which is Eric's second figure. Oh, dude, he's right. definitely looking straight at Sam. Oh my gosh, he's so sus, dude. He's so uncomfortable. I'm just like, don't feel comfortable at all. Here we go, here he goes, here he goes. What's up, man? I was like sitting over there and I thought I was kind of looking over at him. It's so weird. You're like a, on YouTube or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know what it is. It's a dumb guy. Can I just get a box for this? Nah, what? <laughs> Bro, I know what to do now when I'm in an uncomfortable situation in a restaurant. Yo, can I get a box for this? <laughs> Dude, just leave the food, bro. If it's not bad, don't even get it box, bro. Just get up and go. Stuff. I don't know what that means. He's cool, but it was just a weird situation. Right, talk about yeah, thank, thank you. you. If he leaves, that means we scared him. Because if he's scared of the stalker, that means they might leave. Nah, he already knows that this guy's gonna try to walk out at the same time. 
After all of us off, we actually felt kind of bad. So we left the restaurant to tell Eric it was... Wait, what? The whole crew is running, man. <laughs> I just didn't tell him it was a joke. joke. Even though we didn't find him, he found us. Oh, you boys want something? Oh, oh there he is. So after we did the whole stalker thing, this dude was actually so scared that he got up and just ran out the back of the restaurant. Are you okay? <laughs> I didn't realize that I'm in a video. I'm not going to let this happen. I'm just going to drive back to the house. Yeah. Yo. Hey, bud. Hey. What do you think? I have never been more in <laughs> You scared the f*** out of me. Oh, wait, did you hear that? You scared him. We got him. <laughs> I hate to tell you, it's gonna get harder from here. Maybe you'll yeah, my god, that's what happens when you're famous, bro. You just can't go out. You can't go out, man. Otherwise, I don't know, you might get popped. Punch be ever in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> On to the next bit. Next, we thought it would be funny to hit three birds with one stone. I'm just killing birds for the first fear. I remember this one time, Eric told me that he got robbed on a run. I remember the look on this guy's face, terrifying. To recreate this, first we get him to leave the house. To go to what he thinks is one of Beans' stand-up comedy shows. And then on the way there, right before he arrives at the comedy club, we'll plant the robber. Oh. We don't stop there. Eric's also an introvert. He hates crowds. So, once we get into the comedy club, he won't even realize we bugged the entire venue with cameras, microphones, and an entire audience completely comprised of actors. Hey, everybody. When the signal is given, we'll have the house lights turn off. They all stand up. They look at Eric and they begin vigorously tickling him. Which for a guy like Eric who hates being touched, potentially his worst fear. I mean, that doesn't scare him. I don't know what will. Nah, bro, that's that's molesting him, bro. Hey, why are you touching him, bro? Stop molesting Eric. Poor Eric. But I promise it is not. But you don't have to take it from me. Eric didn't know that was happening. We didn't know the two-hour call when he got kidnapped or whatever happened. I literally almost called the police. It was real. Make it feel really, uh, like, make it feel really, uh, what do you call that? Like, so it's about it. <laughs> what is happening right now, bro? What is happening? Oh, no, I already prepared the dual parking spots. What? Why does he gotta be a black guy? Nah. <laughs> I'm taking the phone. Just get back. And Just I'm get back in the car. Okay. What the? You okay? Is that real? Yeah, that was real. Yeah. All right, I lied. We couldn't tell Eric in the moment whether or not he passed the fear because he didn't even know this was part of the video. But if we analyze this footage right here, hey, hey, yo, yeah, I'm car. taking the hat. He could have ran away, but he didn't. So as much as I hate to admit it, it's a fear conquered for Eric. Uh, you got all that? Yeah. Did you, were you recording in the car? I got his license plate. Perfect. Next, we walked into the comedy club to have Eric face his next fear and went and talked to the very famous comedian, Chris D'Elia, who was secretly on our team and only there to convince Eric this whole thing was real. It feels like I'm in a dream right now, dude. It was the, that was the wildest thing I've ever watched with my own eyes. I'm going to do stand up. I like a couple months in there. You got this, dude. <laughs> all right. Hey, he's going to eat you. <laughs> We got a great show for you. Uh, this first year, but he's making his Laugh Factory debut. Put your hands together for Sam Thomas. I've been pretty lonely lately. And the other day, I was taking a shower and I looked to my right. There was a giant cockroach with a little shampoo on my pinky. <laughs> Put it on its head. You suck. <laughs> Waitress, you sell tomatoes here? This is not good. Hey, bro, shut up. You're not funny, Harry Potter. Harry Potter. Ah, <laughs> That's a good one, Harry Potter. Because it does look like Harry Potter, bro. Look at him. Did he say? Oh, my God. No. What the heck is this, bro? Ah! 
This is molestation at its finest. Oh my god! Ah! I'm just gonna help my past self out here a little bit so you don't have to listen to screaming. Ah! Things today have been pretty scary, but I'm gonna let you in on a little secret. Do you know what scared me much more than any of these challenges have? It was my own failure of never giving YouTube a real shot. Now that's a really scary thought. Ah! I started off by having side hustles on Shopify. That allow me to give this YouTube career a shot. No, I'm actually serious. I literally used Shopify to sell hoverboards when I was like 18. And now I partnered with Shopify in this video and run all of my businesses on Shopify. Shopify was an easy to use all-in-one commerce platform for anyone, regardless of your technical ability and experience to start, grow, and manage a business. This Shopify lets you sell online and in person and all major social platforms, even if you're stuck in the jungle. Oh, Eric, I just want to let you know you can call us off at any point. What happens if I give up? You didn't face your fear. Yeah. Shopify powers more entrepreneurs than anyone in the world. Millions of businesses in over 175 countries. If you're ready to face your fears and start your entrepreneurship journey, as you can go to Shopify. What is this? Is this an advertisement or is it part of the video? What's going on? Com slash era today with a 14 day free trial of Shopify. Oh. Did we get you? I'm ready to go. So this is the first time we've ever gone rogue and made a video basically without your consent. How do you think we did? Uh, <laughs> this is the most bizarre experience of my life. I'm very impressed. Yes. Bizarre is the right word. Bro, that was mellow. It was getting mellowed by everyone, though. That was crazy, man. That was crazy. Now at this point, you probably think that the video is over. You think it's gonna be over just like that? I had one more fear that I just wanted to test Eric on. We need one final trick up the sleeve. A little cherry on top. A little, uh, a little, uh... <laughs> Maybe we think about, like, which bit scared him the most. I think it's probably pretty safe to say that the stalker did scare him more than anything else. Here's an idea. Tonight, when he's home in his bed, asleep with his girlfriend in his room, we take that same stalker, <laughs> dress him up in the identical clothing of Eric's girlfriend, throw a ladder up on the house, get him upstairs without anyone knowing, <laughs> so home, get the guy in the bed, and then... What's up, guys? I'm here right now with Eric. Can you believe it? I'm just like in his actual house. I'm wearing a wig right now. I'm dressed up like his girlfriend. But like, <laughs> 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 you guys can leave. Wait, wait, wait. Which hope do you want to stay here? Honestly, I don't care which this is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bro. What a hilarious video. All right, boys and girls. Ladies, gentlemen, everyone, granddad, grandmas, I really hope you did enjoy, bro. Be sure you subscribe to the channel and drop a like if you want more amazing content like this, man. I love you all. Catch you on the next video. And I'm out. <laughs>